So I'm now at the booth of Volvo Cars and if you want to understand about the latest ES90, what innovation has been done on the propulsion side of things, on the battery side and as well as on the e-drives, this is the video to watch because it includes an expert interview and a lot of insights. So hi Robert. Hi. It's a pleasure meeting you. Thank you so much for taking the time out. Could you please kindly explain what is inside Volvo because we have we can see from the outside how beautiful it looks mm -hmm. but I'm pretty sure that Volvo has done a lot of good stuff on the inside. Yes. So I will let you take the center stage. Could you explain yeah. what is happening and who you are? Yes. So first I just uh, like to say that I'm uh, working for Volvo Cars Propulsion and Energy uh, unit which mm -hmm. is handling all uh, the stuff which is inside the car the batteries electric drives charging system and and also sh external charging that is outside the car mm -hmm. ecosystems and everything so we're quite involved in everything that that is moving and all the energy stuff you're the exactly right person i was looking for so thank you so much okay you're so welcome. can you explain about the propulsion system of what is happening inside yeah. uh, Volvo. And, and uh, to do that, I want to present a sketch. Mm -hmm. And what you see here is our progress when it comes to propulsion in uh, Volvo cars. To, to the left, you see what we have in CMA platform, the 40 series, EX40. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and then when we're talking about, that is generation one. Then we are moving over to generation two. And that is, you can see here, EX90. Okay. Uh, and then we can see the next step will be the generation 3. That is what we call normally spot 3. Mm -hmm. And that is, is coming uh, soon, we can say. Okay. But what we have today is here under generation 2. Uh, and, and then we have made an upgrade. So in the EX90, we have a start situation with the spot 2. But then we go to something we call SPA2 upgrade, which is an 800 volt system. Okay. Yeah, so, so by 800 volt, we have changed all the high voltage connected systems in the car to Absolutely. be coping with 800 volt instead of 400 volt. And okay. by doing that, we also took the chance to make some changes. So the batteries, of course, are containing uh, a different number of cells. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's pretty great. Um, what I think is that that will be probably the first Volvo car on 800 volt architecture. Yeah, then. Th that's true. That's correct. Oh, uh, that's great. Yeah. And uh, we can see a lot of numbers. So you have improved from generation to generation on on the number yeah, on the power. That, that, as is, well as that is really that is to stay relevant and to be competitive. We understand that we need to upgrade our cars to be always on like the best possible uh, deliverable level. Okay. So, so uh, you can see here the numbers that from this stage to the stage two, generation two, we have 30% more torque, 25% more power, mm -hmm. less cost, less CO2, and increased charging speed. Yep. So, so uh, but then when you go to 800 volt, you also, get even more because then we also have incorporated uh, new charging algorithms for instance so by 800 volt you can charge with 350 kilowatts wow the battery size in this case is 106 kilowatt hour i think mm -hmm. so it's a pretty big battery but you can charge that from 10 to 80 percent in 20 minutes wow that's that's, that's really good. that's really fast i yeah. would say yeah and uh considering it's 800 volt and you just mentioned 350 kilowatts right at yes. the charging peak wow i mean i remember that the previous 400 volt generation cars were charging with a peak of maximum 200 kilowatts so that's a huge improvement on yeah. the numbers yeah. that's crazy yeah. and uh, one thing i'm reading over here that's also quite interesting because it's the future development and a lot of I, i've been over here at this exhibition and i had a lot of talks was the vehicle to grid the bi-directional charging capabilities yeah. And I'm reading here that your car is already uh, capable. Yeah, that, that is prepared for uh, the, the cars. Okay. Uh, and that will come in, in the EX90 and ES90, uh, regardless if you have a 400 volt or 800 volt system. So, so we will uh, deliver that in selected market to start with. We, mm -hmm. we will not go out everywhere. So that will, will be uh, t 
come to some countries first and, okay, and yeah. later on to other countries. Of course, of course. It, yeah. it makes sense to go slowly and steadily into the markets yeah, exactly. where there's more higher adoption rate. Yeah. And um, it's not written on this slide, but I was today at uh, the stall of Hubject. Yeah. And Hubject has Volvo EX90 standing over there. Yes. And I was really pleased to see that it's plug and charge ready yeah. as and well. Yeah, that is really from uh, generation two stock EX90. It has plug and charge uh, from the beginning. That's really great. Yeah. So this, and uh, from the generation three, what is happening into the generation four? Because it's a blurry part. Yeah, so, so, yeah. We can look a little bit on the battery details for generation three because then we are introducing a new what we call cell to body concept also. Mm -hmm. But if you look at this overview, if we say generation three is for spa three, uh, then we have also looking into what can happen next. And okay. we have also a little demonstrator for that that we call smart cell. And that is really a very sort of um, a new step where we inter uh, integrate switches, H okay. bridge, bridge switches into the battery. So we can switch all, say, clusters of cell and, and connect them in series. And we can have, we can create the sinusoidal voltage that we need for the electric motors inside the battery directly. So it will be an AC battery. Okay. And then we can also do that with uh, AC charging. So we can, instead of going from an onboard charging, we can do taking the, the AC charging directly into the battery through some filters and then so we can So you are charge. skipping then the onboard chargers completely? The, the onboard chargers and the inverters will, will not be needed any longer. They will be replaced by the electronics that are, are uh, integrated together with the battery. That's the first time I've heard. Yeah. I've never heard that such thing was it, possible. It's not really on the market yet, you know. It's mm -hmm. a, And we haven't decided on uh, production dates, uh, but we are working very much with that because we really believe that this has some potential uh, both cost savings and, and uh, weight saving. Weight saving as yeah, well yeah. and why not that's that's pretty yeah. pretty great uh, mm -hmm. innovation that you're working and uh, sorry we moved quickly to the generation 4 but on the generation 3 it says that you have in-house designing of manufacturing e-drives drive lines as well. Exactly now. and I will I will move to that uh, so here you see our drive line generation so you can mm -hmm. see first generation was more or less bought from a supplier mm -hmm. and also like a separate motor from power electronics mm -hmm. so you have uh, and then you go to the next step we are moving to uh, a more integrated design and we are also doing some sort of in increase of uh, key performance parameters mm -hmm. more torque Indeed. more power less cost and good ef more efficiency but then we go into Gen 3, and, and this is really a new electric motor for the Spa 3. It is developed for 800 volts, but it also go into the generation of Spa 2, the new ES90 as a starting point. But also later on, it will come in the EX90 in an upgrade. Ah. So even though EX EX90 is on Spa 2 right now, uh, but it can have this generation 3 drive yeah, so, as an upgrade. So, uh, you can say that generation three is a set of uh, components that we already take generation three components into SPA 2 and doing upgrade to, to say take uh, this uh, migration a little bit uh, okay. on the way. So, uh, that makes sense, why not, of course. Yeah. And uh, you are already making 800 volt architecture and yeah. uh, SPA 2 was, I saw it was 400 slash 800 volt. So uh, exactly. If you can, uh, of, of, for the generation two, sorry. So if it can be used, why not? Yeah. Uh, it, it makes absolute so, so, sense. So this motor is what we have in the ES90. Okay. Yeah. So you can see it has the same torque, but it has more power. So it is another optimization. Yeah. And then uh, less weight and less cost and, and, and even more efficiency. So yeah. it is always a progress. And weight is always the biggest thing in electric cars. Yeah. You, if you want to become efficient more and more, you have to cut down on weights. And if you're cutting down weight with technology, yeah. while improving power and efficiency, yeah. that's absolutely, exactly. absolutely great. Yeah. Um, can I ask you about the battery? Because uh, while we were scrolling right now, there was a picture of battery as well. Yeah. So what ha what has changed from generation one to generation three on the battery? Is this something also being developed on the battery side? Yeah, when it comes to battery, we are... Uh, I think we can show this one, actually. So 
here you can see the first generation battery. It's, uh, you know, designed for a conventional uh, platform with combustion mm -hmm. engine and a tunnel design. Then we go over to generation two. It's a flat battery design. Mm -hmm. uh, it has a structural design together with the battery modules, but it's still a separate battery. When we go to the third generation, it's, it's a more integrated design. It, it, it is a part of the vehicle body, you can say. Uh -huh. It also has self, we call it self to body concept. And then we are also coming, uh, additional to this, we have this mega casting concepts that mm -hmm. we'll add in additional to this. So this car platform will save a lot of weight and, and be more stiff and, and uh, have a lot of uh, very nice and interesting ad attributes. That's perfect. So it will have higher torsional stiffness. Yeah. Uh, it will have, uh, I mean, what I see uh, even on the pictures, uh, it looks compact, so it means that you might be saving some space while packaging yep. with this battery, uh, with ba with this battery design. Yeah, and it it looks quite neat, I would say, because on the Gen 2 I can see a lot of cables going around. So perhaps it's a different cooling concept, but if it's cell to body, that means it's much more resilient and yep. stiff. Yeah, yeah, that's great development on the battery side as well. So on the propulsion side, Volvo has done basically all of the new features for ES90. Yeah, if I can see. Uh, and the battery will come in next step. So, so we take, uh, take it in steps, you can say. Thank you. And just last question, I think because of the time limit. So I, I would yep. li like to ask, uh, the, is the battery that you mentioned 106 kilowatt hour, is it NMC or is it LFP right now? It's an NMC battery. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you so much. I uh, really you. appreciate Deep Insights. That was a very wonderful interview. And thank you so much for being so transparent. Yep. Yep. I really appreciate yep. and your time. Thank, thank you. you very take much. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.